And people like with bipolar disease, they tend to be insulin resistant. They eat, eat high carbs. They have high uric acid levels. And look at this. They have very high fructose levels in their brain. This is human studies. It correlates directly with the hospitalization rate. Bipolar disease is due to intracerebral fructose production that lowers ATP. And it was meant to be a good thing, but when it's overactive, it's bad. So what are our solutions? Well, ke these keto diets are fantastic. This is a paper from Georgia Edes. Uh, Chris Palmer has done similar work. You put people on a low-carb diet, you can improve people. You can improve their behavior. You can reduce their risk for dementia. It isn't just obesity. Some people like to get Ozempic to lose weight. You get Ozempified. It's good. Look at the dramatic weight loss. It's expensive. A lot of side effects. And it recurs. There must be better solutions. So as a, I have to confess, that my, you know, I got so into, I've, I've been studying fructose for 25 years, and I was approached by uh, people, uh, RX Sugar is a company that markets uh, allulose, which is a sugar that looks like fructose, but it's just one slight change. And I got interested in it because it does not activate the switch. It does not drop the energy. And so I joined the company, and I'm half-time a professor and half-time with the company. So that's my disclosure. But I did it because I believe that this is actually a great potential solution. So what the heck is allulose? It's a natural sugar. It's uh, you know, found in wheat and other things. It's low calorie. It's low glycemic. It's sweet. Uh, everyone's eating some. We're just not eating enough. And what happens is uh, when you eat allulose, uh, it gets absorbed and then not metabolized and then excreted through the urine uh, and a little bit gets excreted through the gut. And um, it does not activate this bicarb switch, I mean this uh, fructose switch. It does not activate this survival switch. And it has some added benefits and those added benefits includes that it reduces the glucose response. This is the only low calorie sugar that actually reduces the rise in glucose after a meal. It actually stimulates this thing called GLP-1, which is what Ozempic does, but it only does, it's a natural stimulant, and it stimulates only during, uh, for a couple hours after you eat. So you get this little boost that ke keeps the glucose levels down, uh, so it will reduce the amount of fructose produced. Uh, it blocks fructose absorption as well because it competes with the fructose transporter. Uh, and it has a lot of other benefits. And so uh, if you give it to animals, you can see that it stimulates GLP-1. This is the same thing that uh, Ozempic does, or you know, Ozempic is a GLP-1 agonist that is present, elevated all the time. But, uh, and if you give it to humans, you get a really whopping GLP-1 response. It suppresses food intake because of that. So if you take uh, allulose, like a chocolate bar, you can actually reduce your, your, your stimulate some satiety, and it can block weight gain. This is in the animals, this mice. They get less fat. You can improve their diabetes. It looks, it's really good, uh, you know, and it uh, can reduce body weight. This is a human study. It doesn't have the big effect that, that um, you know, that Ozempic does, but, it, you know, we've had some people, uh, lose, you know, 50 pounds, but, it, you know, not everyone does that. Uh, it blocks, if you give it with sugar, it blocks the rise, like in table sugar. This is sucrose or table sugar. This is human studies. It really blocks that rise in glucose. And remember, that's what triggers the fructose production in the brain. And it affects, uh, it's been shown to, uh, to help diabetics. So if you have type 2 diabetes and you're taking it, it will help keep that sugar following a meal tight, more tight within the range that you want it. This was a study that was done in, in Egypt, actually. Um, it blocks leaky gut. My work shows that leaky gut is the cause of uh, anaphylactic uh, you know, food allergies to peanuts and so forth, because you have to get those peanut antigens across the gut into the blood. 
Uh, it's important for the origin of celiac disease, where it's, you get the gluten across the gut. If you, if you can block a leaky gut, you're going to block the development of celiac disease. And Crohn's disease is also linked with sugar intake and may involve similar pathways. It, you know, it improves exercise endurance if you're a mouse. I don't know about a human, okay, but it does. If you're, if you're a mouse, it increases glycogen in the muscle, which leads to a little bit better performance. We need to do studies in humans, okay? But bottom line is, uh, you know, oh, here's a study where it improved cognition. So the way, again, remember uh, you know, the problem with, with Cognition is if you make fructose in the brain and it's made by a particular cell called the microglia uh, and that cell has the fructose transporter so if allulose can block that and lower uric it also probably lowers uric acid and these are benefits that can lead to improved outcomes and ability to, uh, to, 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 to think logically and so forth. And if you give you know, fructose or glucose you get all these changes in in blood flow to the brain, with allulose you don't. So, so I've talked to you about the tale of two sugars, the bad and the good. Fructose is the bad. It blocks the mitochondria and it lowers ATP and that is the mechanism that seems to drive behavioral disorders. It's the mechanism driving dementia and it's also dr uh, driving all these other things, but it was meant to be good. Transiently dropping it makes you eat more. It helps you store fat so you can, you know, survive winter, but we're not hibernating. We're just <laughs> continuing to eat. So this is why it's bad. Uh, Chris Palmer is, I want to say that he is a fantastic guy. We're going to be collaborating with him uh, to look at some of these effects on behavior and as well as... Uh, you know, on dementia. And allulose seems to be a good sugar. We need to know more about it. I'm just learning more about it, but it does look like a great fructose substitute. It's low calorie, it's sweet, it's metabolically healthy, it stimulates GLP-1, it lowers uric acid, at least we believe it does. We're gonna do more studies on that. It may promote weight loss, et cetera.